Hey, how's it going? Um, just another update on what I did the other episode uh, with the grasses mulch. Um, I've got an abundance of grass here because it's been raining so much, so I thought I'd take advantage of it just to show you some interesting things that uh, happened uh, with the grass mulch and how it uh, reacted to the soil and the microbes and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I was also just giving you an update on uh, what's been happening. I ripped out all the pumpkins and, and chopped them all up so they can decompose into the ground getting ready for uh, this season's crops to go in. Um, also, also want to apologise. Uh, apparently in my last video the audio didn't follow the video very well. Um, but anyway, I'll see how we go this time and uh, please let me know in the comments if you have any dramas. You know, I'll spin the camera around and I'll give you a look at the garden and I'll show you a few things that I thought were a bit interesting. Here's the garden. As you can see, it's looking a bit bare at the moment. Not even that much mulch because it just decomposed so quickly. Uh, we're in the tropics here and it just goes gangbusters. All, all this is grass. You can see a bit of the grass here. I've just been coming through and pulling out some weeds, but it's just decomposed into nice soil. Hopefully you can make that out, but it's just nice. Ants everywhere, slaters everywhere. The microorganisms doing their job. Also just wanted to show you this, living mulch. Uh, we just let this plant go rampant. This is Brazilian spinach. If you look underneath it, Oh. oh, look at that, just pure mulch, and it's, it's moist in there, it's nice, we just let him go off. Um, so, in between the other episode and today's, I've cut down all the pumpkin, and you can see the remnants of it decomposing into the ground. Now, I've also made a whole heap of cuttings from the hibiscus spinach, which is the plant you see in front of me with the red, and the sweet leaf, which is this plant right there, cuttings. Just to show you an interesting thing about some cuttings just here for a moment and protection that plants would normally get in a forest like situation. Here's a cutting, it's out on its lonesome, no shade. A little bit of green growth coming so it must have established roots. Now this one here is under some Queensland arrowroot. It's only one leaf but look at the growth, heaps more, bit of shade counts um, and that'll turn into something like this here it just shoots up uh, you, you eat the leaves salad spinach however you want to cook it good plant 30 percent protein for those people who are vegetarians or vegans or anything like that very nutritious so i just got <laughs> queensland arrowroot popping up everywhere some of them are cuttings some of them are where old plant remnants were that's okay, I'll leave them. If anything, it'll be mulch. Um, if anyone's wondering, that's a hibiscus spinach. It fell over in the wet and it just yeah, it hasn't recovered yet. But this is what you try and establish with, with your sweet leaf. It's, it's a very tall plant, as tall as me, about six foot. You just try and get a nice solid base with heaps of shoots coming out of it. You just cut him back and keep going. Um, left the asparagus in, I cut it back. Uh, just as an experiment to see if I could get more shoots off it. Yeah, I don't really know if that helped it. But, yeah, well, you live and learn. It's a nice one coming through just there. But, uh, anyway, um, ginger's taken off now that it's got a bit of sun. And we've had heaps of water. Again, with the Brazilian spinach as a, as a living mulch. Uh, here's some okra. These are just things left over from the wet season that still like the conditions. Nice okra going there. Just show you this loofah. This loofah has gone gangbusters. It's just gone nuts. Right, look at that. Um, we're hoping to grow these for some actual loofahs for washing your body. Uh, there, there's a few on. So hopefully we'll have a few loafers for the winter time.
This plant should actually grow through winter in this climate though. Um, I just sorted the root pouches. Um, those root pouches are courtesy of Rob Bob. Thank you very much, mate. Um, you can purchase them on his website through his YouTube channel if you wish. They're very good. They let the plants breathe and they don't get root bound. Um, so they, I just put these plants under a bit of protection here under the Queensland arrowroot. A bit of shade because there's blueberry. Uh, that's a wild raspberry basically. Now I've just got some cuttings of some Brazilian spinach in here for a mate. Uh, sorry, Brazilian spinach and I've got some hibiscus spinach in here for a mate. They're going quite well. Anyway, what I'm actually going to do, as you can see, there's a lot of bare soil around, so I'm going to chuck a big layer of grass on top of it again since it went really well and decomposed, and it's just rampant the decomposing in this climate. Uh, but I've got a... When I mow, I'll probably do that tomorrow, and I'll, I'll put some more on. Uh, I'll just show you how much grass I've got. That's all grass. It's just goes nuts. It's only, I don't know, five days worth of growth, so I'll cut that and rake a bit up and... And yeah, it'll it'll be good mulch. So there you go, guys. You, you you don't need to go out and spend a fortune. You got some grass, use it. Yeah, you'll have a few weeds. Oh well, pull them out, let them decompose as well. It's all good stuff. Anyway, um, hopefully this video goes really well and the audio track follows it well. And um, when I do some more gardening this week, hopefully I'll be able to up upload some more videos. Anyway, take it easy and thanks for watching.